wind models and the pollutant dispersion modeling. Don't ask me more about this. Uh, but this so what is pollution, pollution dispersion model? Uh, yeah, yeah, thank you. So, so uh, this company is just uh, three people. So three consultants, three engineers, experts in the field. And uh, when they started looking at the infrastructure needed to power these simulations, they quickly realized that they will need to buy uh, physical servers to be able to run simulations and deliver results in time, uh, spending $116,000 just to start. So they decided to take a look at cloud computing. And uh, on Amazon Web Services, they say we have a supercomputer at our fingertips. And they only spend a few dollars an hour, even if they run multiple machines, instead of investing hundreds of thousands of dollars to run this. So for them, it was uh, an amazing feature because they could deliver results very quickly. In fact, one of their simulations typically took a couple of months. And instead, it, it just took like 25 to 30 hours on Amazon Web Services. And most of their customers are actually surprised uh, when they say, we're going to deliver you the results in two days. Customers know that this requires a lot of computational power, and they say, how could these three guys in Melbourne or Adelaide be able to have this supercomputer at their disposal? And the reason, of course, is that they use Amazon Web Services. So for those of us who have or cover up our gray hair, this is sort of modern day time sharing. Yes, correct. Uh, next one. Uh, this is uh, another example. We go to the other side of Australia, Filter Squad. Uh, these are Stuart and Dave. And they specialize in something that is, uh, uh, let's say, applications that can help you find what you like. So they launched, uh, the first one launched was Discover Music, which helps you discover music based on your preferences. Uh, then they launched Discover Apps. And then uh, a few weeks ago, they launched Discover Music. What's interesting about these applications is that with this application, they became number one in the Apple App Store in more than 50 countries in the world. And this includes big countries like US, Japan, Germany, Australia, not just small countries. Uh, if you go to the next slide, this is a quick video that shows you how uh, one of their applications, Discover Apps, works. You essentially tap on the application that you're interested in, it will expand and show you other applications that you might want to like and keep expanding. Or maybe you can explore with a double tap on one specific application that you like. You can read about it, you can uh, try to decide if you need it or not, and of course you can buy it or you can just uh, move back and then keep exploring. So it's a very simple and intuitive interface. And this works for applications as well as music or movies. Uh, and of course it's available for iPads and iPhones, so you can even try it out if you want. Uh, yeah, next slide. So this is what happened to them when they launched Discover Apps. It was so successful that in four days they, they were able to get 250,000 downloads in just four days. And luckily for them, they were already using Amazon Web Services, so they set up auto-scaling, load balancing, uh, they built a three-tier uh, web architecture with web servers and uh, database servers and application servers, so everything was ready to scale. They started with a few servers, but then when they hit the spike, their infrastructure just automatically scaled on demand. So they, had, uh, you know, they were featured on TechCrunch and a few other magazines and online sites without any glitch on the infrastructure. Yeah, that's often a bloody uncomfortable.